during the time of the judges, a man by the name of Micah stole 1,100 pieces of silver from his mother. <laughs> but he quickly returned it when he found out that she had put a curse on the person who took it. She said, oh, my son, I, I, I didn't know it was you. I, I was going to give it to you anyway. Well, at that point, he didn't want to take it. So she took the silver, and with some of it, she made a little silver idol, a god, and gave it to her son. With the rest of the money, he built a room that was special for, for, for the idol, and also some special clothes that the priest of the idol could wear. There was a, enough money left over to provide for the priest. By that same time, a young Levite named Jonathan left his home in Bethlehem to find his fortune. As he traveled, he came to the home of Micah, who invited him in for a meal and to spend the night. As they visited that evening, they developed a friendship. Finally, Micah said, if, if you're looking for a place to settle, why don't you come here? I, I have a, 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 a little god that needs a priest. And after all, you are a Levite, so you could be the priest. Look, I have these, this special clothes for, for, for the priest. I'll provide you housing, food. I'll, I'll provide your needs, and I'll even give you a salary. Well, Jonathan thought about that and it sounded like a good deal. So he accepted. <laughs> In time, he became like one of the family. Soon after that, the Danites down in the south of Israel decided that they needed to find a, 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 a place that would be their permanent home. They sent five spies north to look for a place. As they traveled, they came to the home of Micah and camped nearby. Jonathan went out to greet, to greet them and to visit with them. And, and they finally said, your speech, you have an accent of someone from Bethlehem. What are you doing here? Oh, he said, I, I, I have a special opportunity here. He told them about Micah and about the little God that they had and the, and the special clothes for, for the priest and how his, all of his needs were met and he got a salary too. It was a good deal. They said, well, if you're a Levite and a priest, then tell us, will God honor our trip? Will we have success on, on this trip? He said, yes. Yes, you will have success on this trip. They traveled north and came to a little town. They looked around and the fields were lush. It was a fertile place. And there was a little town of gentle people that were defenseless. They went back to their tribe and said, we have found the perfect place beautiful fields and the people are defenseless. We could easily conquer them. So it was agreed that they would send an army and conquer that town. They sent 600 men north to conquer that city. As they came to the place where Micah had his house, the five spies told the others about, the, about Micah and how he had a little god there and, and, and even had a, a priest in special clothes and said that would, that would be wonderful for us to have in our, in, our new, in our new land. So the 600 men went down and went to Micah's house. Jonathan came out to, to greet them and, and then notice that the Five spies went in the house and were bringing things out. He said, what is going on? They looked at him and said, shut up. Listen carefully. You have a choice to make. You can stay here and serve one man. Or you can come with us and be the priest for a whole tribe. Which will it be? Decide right now. 
Well, Jonathan thought about that, and it, well, it did sound like a good deal. So he agreed, and he went in the house and helped them to carry out everything that had to do with that idol. Later on, Micah came home and found that things were missing and his priest was gone. And he organized a group of men and chased after the, the men from Dan. When he saw them off in the distance, he, he yelled at them and they stopped and turned. He said, what are you yelling about? He said, what am I yelling about? How can you say that? You've taken my priests, the special clothes, all the things that have to do with the idol. You even, you even took the idol and the priests and everything. I have nothing. They said, listen, stop yelling at us. Because if you keep yelling, we'll take one more thing from you. We'll take your life, the lives of your family. Well, Michael thought about that and realized that they, they were telling the truth. And so he went back home. The tribe of Dan went north and they easily conquered that little town. They killed everybody in, in the town and tore down all the buildings and rebuilt new houses and homes. They brought their tribe and settled there. And Jonathan was their priest and that little idol was their god. Jonathan served that tribe for the rest of his life. And then his descendants continued to serve them for hundreds of years. They were the priests for that tribe all the way through the kingdoms of David and Solomon and the kings and the northern tribe of Israel until the Assyrians came and carried them away into captivity. Oh, did I mention Jonathan was the grandson of Moses. Thank you.